Hi guys, we're going to get into our second day of printmaking. For this one, we're going to do a collagraph stamp. A collagraph stamp is when you take pieces of paper or something that's thicker, you glue it down onto a plate or surface, and it, it gets a raised surface. And then what we do is we, we ink it up with some rollers, and then we use it like a stamp. Okay, And, and that's what a collagraph is, and it's all about having shapes that are raised up on a surface. Okay, To get started today to make yours, you're going to be uh, working with th these supplies. You're going to have one of these uh, cardboard plates and it is just a square that's four and a half inches by four and a half inches. You're going to have Elmer's glue, Sharpie for writing your name, and for one other thing too I'm going to show you in a bit. And then at your table there's going to be chunks of old uh, this is like a foam paper. It's just a little bit thicker than paper uh, and it'll give that raised up surface. So let's get started making it. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is you're going to write your name with a Sharpie marker uh, so it shows up a little better. You do this on the back side. And then I want you to pick one corner, one of the corners, and I want you to put an X on it. We're going to use that X uh, when we go to print it later on, and we're going to be lining it up with that. You won't understand it, but just do that in one of the corners so we can use one of those corners for our printing project. Then you're going to turn it over, and you're going to start working with shapes and putting shapes all over it. Okay, It might be 10 shapes. It might be 20 shapes. It all depends on how well you fill it up and what size of shapes you have. In the box there's a bunch of different kinds. This has all been used. Uh, you can cut it how you want. You can actually use shapes that are in there. That's perfectly fine. Um, but I want you guys to try to use a variety of shapes. So you might want to use squares. You can use your scissors. So if I want a little square to start off with, I'm just going to use a scissors. Get that chopped up. Maybe a little bit smaller there. Uh, then I'm going to just place these around here. If you want some type, of, some type of pattern, you could have a pattern across there. You don't have to have a, a pattern, but patterns do uh, look nice in this. Uh, get my glue ball ready. Sometimes there's a little bit of glue there, so I need to peel that off. And then I turn it till that white thing goes down, and then I check it to see if it's going. Some are getting a little low with glue, so you'll need to make sure that you give it enough time to let the glue fall all the way down to the bottom and then you're letting it squeeze out there. As you can hear, the uh, people in the lunchroom are very loud. Anyways, uh, let's get back to this. Uh, I'm going to place this maybe right over here. Just put a little glue on the back and just kind of rub it around a little bit and then I let it sit there. Okay? Uh, other shapes you could do uh, you could test out, you could do like lines. I could even use this one I found here. I could have a nice line shape, which is actually a long rectangle. Maybe I want to put that up here. So again, with the glue bottle, I'm going to carefully put some glue, just a little dot. If you have troubles with glue and you put too much down, just try working with the dots and just touching it. Just a dot, not a lot. And maybe this one can go, maybe I like it right here. Okay. Press that down so it stays. And there we go. Okay. Here's some other ones. Uh, one that I made last night. It's not quite done yet, but I, what I want to do is fill it up with a bunch of different shapes. And, and then later, when it dries, probably next time, we're going to take a roller and we're going to be print making it. So that'll be coming up next time, though, because we'll need to let it dry. Uh, when you're done, uh, just make sure you bring it over by the drying rack and you're going to set it down there to let it dry. And one other thing, uh, on the back, try to write so your name and what class you're in. If you're in Wiser's, 1W. If you're in Blessman's, 1B. Uh, Miss D's, 1D. Uh, if you're in, let's see, Lay's, 1L. So, there we go.